Hey guys, what is up, the Neocubist here, welcome to episode 5, five I don't know I said fine, but episode 5 of my Minecraft Falling Falling custom map survival let's play. So, last episode we built that ladder, um, someone also informed me in the comments and thankfully they informed me because we have this cow spawn egg. I want to try this off the bat because this is going to be super cool if this works. Now I'm not going to spoil what it does, but if it does do what I'm thinking it'll do, then this could be life changing. Oh my gosh, it <laughs> actually worked. Okay, so essentially what has just happened here is I put a spawn egg, which normally you only get in creative. I found it in a barrel somewhere, like it just sort of fell in a barrel, and now we have a cow spawner. So that means essentially we have leather armor for days, <laughs> which is great. And I know, I know, hold on, <laughs> let me go get the right tools. I'm gonna dig a hole down because we're not that far from our surface and I kinda wanna be able to stand there and just have cows fall on me and I just sorta get them. But that's very good that we have cows because, well, I mean it's good for a lot of reasons, but mainly infinite food, secondly, infinite armor, and uh, experience as well. I'm trying to see, do I even have any extra wood? I don't even think I have any wood. So I'm gonna have to wait for these to grow or just go find a log. Well, that took a while. <laughs> I love this map. It's just like, it's so weird, like playing Minecraft like this, like just having random blocks everywhere. And uh, yeah, the reason I'm making a lot of this series and not my normal survival series is this is getting a lot more views. Like my most recent survival series video has like 30 or 40,000 views, which I mean, it's not, not 30 or 40,000, sorry. It's not even close to that. It's like way, way below. So I figure that you guys want to see this more, at least right now, and that's fine. I'm not going to stop the series. Um, I'm thinking about maybe starting a new world on it. I don't know. You guys just let me know in the comments what you want to see, but definitely more of this series is going to be coming out, so don't worry about that. But essentially, I'm going to mine out the area below this and around it. Um, I think it needs to be like a four block space. I just made a spawner on one of my live streams, and I do live streams. Dang it. <laughs> hey, iron. Uh, I do live stream Minecraft a good bit, so if you guys don't want to miss that, be sure post notifications are on, just so you're notified when I start streaming. I feel like I've been saying that for like a week or two now, and like I haven't streamed since then, but I'm about to go out of town again, but don't worry, videos are still going to be coming out almost every day. We're going to try to do every other day this time, because making a lot of those videos is kind of hard, and I, again, I don't want to push myself too far and get to a point, like usually I only upload during the summer, like that's ten, that tended to be how it was in the past, but I don't want that anymore. I want to upload year round and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna do it the best way I can so I'm gonna pace myself. And uh, I got a good support system, I got a good, good group of people around me so I think I'll be just fine. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna dig out all this stuff around here. I should hold a torch in my hand, but like, see, we don't have very much food right now, but as soon as one of these cows spawn, which I'm not sure why it hasn't spawned, because, well, it doesn't need low light, oh, it does need low light level, because it's a monster spawner, huh, well, you'd think it'd spawn something, maybe it's because that's there, no, that's definitely not it, I don't know, but we're going to dig out this area around it, I'm not going to dig out a whole ton of blocks around it, but I definitely want to dig out, um, at least for now, like a two area around it, and then we're just going to dig that just straight down, right? And then uh, hopefully we end up with some cow spawning. So I'll come back after I've dug out a little bit of it. It's going to take a while and I don't want to film all of it. So I'll come back with some progress updates. Uh, people also told me you should make a bamboo farm. And uh, I think that's not a bad idea because we can use it as fuel for furnaces. And uh, I mean it can't be like a bad thing in any way. So I'm going to plant like some just bamboo right here. I don't know exactly what needs to be done. I know it has to have an area above it. But I figure this area... I, I didn't actually think about it, but this area has stuff above it, which is perfect. And thank God that this, this, if that sand fell on it, it probably would have broken our bamboo. Wouldn't have been optimal, but it didn't, so I think we're good. So I haven't made a whole ton of progress, but I did find that bamboo, and I wanted to come on camera and say I have been listening, so we're going to do a little bamboo farm just to have good furnace fuel. So back to the grind, or the dig, as they say. Now, I'm not sure if I want to continue this because no cows have spawned thus far and now it looks like it's lit up in here but just because I have torches in my other hand um, but no cows have spawned and I don't know if I'm doing something wrong so let me know in the comments what's going on if like things don't spawn um, in the video I mean if they start spawning obviously then don't but I'm pretty sure something isn't working a hundred percent correctly here because things should be spawning in here by now at least like we should at least have one cow and it, it looks like it's not even attempting to spawn usually it'll have like a flutter of fire when it like starts to be like you'll see what I'm talking about 
it'll like poof out some fire around it when it's going to spawn something, but it hasn't even attempted to spawn. And I don't know anything about passive mob spawners. Like, I mean, you usually never get them. I, didn't, I wasn't even aware that you could do that with a spawn egg. Like, I had no clue. But let me know in the comments if you guys have any ideas for how to get this working. But if it doesn't work, we'll move on to something else. I was hoping it would work so we could get some food going in this episode. I mean, maybe it has to do with, like, there has to be grass or something. I, I Genuinely, I don't know. So let me know. I'm not just, like, fishing for comments. Like, like I, I'm not at a point where I really need to do that. Anyways, you know, not trying to brag, but I'm just curious. Like, I don't know what... I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I know I have to be doing something wrong because it's not working, but... Yeah, let me know in the comments. I might go on the wiki and just look it up. Hmm, let me do that. Well, I thought it might be the biome or something, but we're in the plains biome, as you can see. So I'm really not sure. It may have to do with the light level. Again, I guys, I really don't know. So let me know in the comments what I can do to make this work. I wish it would just work off the bat, but I think everyone wishes everything would work off the bat. But looks like it's going to need some work. I'm not sure what work will have to be done to it, but... So far, it's not working at all, so let me know if you guys have suggestions. I'm open to anything, just so we can get this working, but uh, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> I mean, there is a cow in there, but it's just not spawning. I don't know, maybe I messed it up because the spawn platform, maybe it, it needs like a... No, because it had an area below it off the bat. I don't know. I'm sure, I'm sure we'll figure it out. Maybe we'll come back and there'll, there'll be some moo noises and we'll hear a cow. There is a tree there, so I'm going to go ahead and get that, but hopefully we get something like that going. But yeah, I want to put... Like, I want to get this bamboo going because I do need a good source of fuel. I want to start smelting some coal, and I want to start getting some bamboo. Um, not smelting some coal, sorry. Smelting some sand, which we do have a little bit of. We don't have a whole ton, but I would like to start smelting it at some point. Um, luckily, we can make a pretty good source of charcoal just by doing this, I think. So if we put one, two, three, I think they each burn... Uh, one block, but as you can see our resources are going we've got 10 coal <laughs> We got 10 iron which or 10 uh, gold. We've got well two iron there And uh, we're getting a bunch of wood and stuff. So the the map is looking up We're getting a lot of things which is definitely very good I was worried that it would just this series would be kind of crappy because we couldn't get anything But as you can see things are progressing quite nicely and it's just getting more exciting as it goes, honestly. Because I've never played Minecraft like this, right? So it's just really, it genuinely is just really weird. Okay, so I want to smell maybe maybe these log blocks. So I'm thinking one charcoal will do it plus two. So do I have two more log blocks? I do. I just have to be able to put these in here as quick as possible. So then we're going to smelt some sand and stuff. I can go ahead and just craft a bunch of furnaces because we don't really... There's, there's no point in us not having a bunch of furnaces just because um, cobblestone isn't very rare. Now, at some point, obviously, this is not going to be my house. You guys know me as probably a house builder, so we'll get this looking a lot better very soon. Uh, I want to save that for an episode. I'm just trying to do things at my own pace here. You guys have been suggesting a lot of cool stuff, and I have been listening to everyone's suggestions. It's just a matter of, you know, what, what, how, what pace I want to take this at, like what pace I want to complete things. Um, I do know for a fact that there is an end spawner, or not an end spawner, sorry. There is a, uh, there's some sort of, like, end portal somewhere in here, as well as you can gather enough stuff for another portal. Maybe it's because there's, there has to be grass in here. You know, that, that may be, that may be the solution. Hold on. So if we want to get grass up here, all we've got to do, and my pick is about to break. Please last a few more. Actually, I can see. Okay, it's got seven more spots. We should be good. Okay, so we'll go in here. And uh, we'll just start breaking out all the stuff we can with the shovel. And then this is definitely more than seven blocks. But <laughs> maybe it's because there's not grass. I really don't know. But we'll, we'll get grass on this layer. And then we'll just sort of see if it starts to work. If it doesn't work, then you guys know. you got to suggest to me and help. Because I, I have no clue. I'm at a loss there. I've, again, like it's impossible to get those spawners in normal Minecraft. So like there's no way I could have ever even like had the opportunity to learn about that. But if anyone's here, or uh, the creator of the map is here, definitely let me know, because I'm confused. I am confusion, in the highest of degrees. Yeah, we're just going to wait and see if we can't get uh, some grass in here. Um, I do want to make this ceiling a little bit higher. This whole thing will have to be, re uh, will have to be revamped at some point, because it's very rudimentary what I have going on here. And like, for instance, this area right here just feels really cramped, and I don't have a good pickaxe, so I want to go try to find some diamonds, but I also need more iron, 
because I don't have enough iron because I, I shouldn't have crafted an iron axe now that I thought about it. Ooh, that's a bunch of saplings. Ooh, thank you. That's a bunch of saplings. Saplings are something that's rare, but now that I've gotten a few, uh, it looks like we're just gonna be, we're gonna be just fine. We'll put it that way. Um, I don't know if one can grow right here. I guess we'll find out. Actually, that's probably not a good spot. Maybe one right here. We're just gonna try to grow as many trees as we can. Uh, but we do have a good bit of saplings, which is nice. And uh, I don't think we have to worry about those too much. Will that make water? You know, if that would have made water, it would have ruined our entire farm. See, I don't know why I try these things. It's like, I don't think. I don't think before I place my blocks. Uh, this should be smelting sand. Yeah, okay. I was like, what What happened? But we'll put the charcoal in here, and we'll start smelting. This only smelts 16 sand, so we'll go ahead and do it like this. We'll make it as efficient as possible. And then we'll do the same with this coal right here. And then I think we can spare two coal from our rare blocks, which are right here. So just Actually, you know what? We'll just one. Do we have another sand somewhere? No, we don't. You know, we should be able to find one sand real quick. <laughs> and then we'll trade it out for a cobblestone block. See? We're not even missing it. And then we can just put this two coal right here, along with this 16 sand. And see, we're set. And we got a bunch of wood now, which is good. I want to go try to find a little bit more iron and then get a diamond pickaxe. We need two more diamonds. You guys were uh, very, very kind in telling me when I missed diamonds. You were like, Neo, you missed diamonds. But I did get them, to be fair. But I think, you know, you comment and then you see it later and you're like, ah, whatever. But yeah, I did find that diamond that was right next. You guys, I think the timestamp was like 8.57 or something. If I'm remembering it right, I really don't know. But I'm going to go up to the top. And uh, I'm going to bring some ladders and some food and stuff. I just don't want to bring a bunch of, like, good materials, you know? Like, I don't want to lose all my good stuff if I go up there and die. So we'll bring 36 ladders. Flint, I don't know where that that would go in our chest. But we'll just go all the way to the top. You guys said press space bar twice. It doesn't work. On Java, at least, that it just doesn't work. Ah, F5, you guys are geniuses. You guys said use F5 to try to find diamonds on the side. And that actually works beautifully, so thank you guys. Again, you guys suggest the best stuff. Okay, so there's two iron, like, right, right here. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh! Okay. There's two iron. I don't have any blocks either. Okay, we'll have to fall gracefully onto this. Or somewhat gracefully. I should have brought a few blocks in hindsight. But, like, look, if you peek off just a little, see? I mean, like, it's aggressive. So... <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure if that's what the map creator was intending, I guess, to punish you for looking. But, you know, you can just look like that, so it's really not stopping much of anything. Personally, I think I'm going to delete that part of the data pack, just because it, it kind of ruins... I, I don't think it ruins anything, and I don't necessarily want to go outside of the playing field at all. I just want to be able to look at stuff. But, I mean, I know you can press F5 or whatever. I'm just trying to make sure I don't miss any diamonds. Is there any, like, below us? It's so hard to see. Uh, okay. Well, it looks like... Wow, this this thing's getting taller and taller. What is that mob up there? You guys see that? Well, you, it's hard to see, but there's a there was a mob up there. Okay, well, we have this, so we'll go ahead and just make this pickaxe real quick. And yeah, the slab... Someone said that... it And as it turns out, the slab doesn't actually do what you'd want it to. It just makes the block disappear. Which, you know, it's okay, it's not that big of a deal, but I was hoping that it would actually, like, allow us to um, farm the blocks, but it doesn't look like you can. Yeah, see, I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. I almost broke it. <laughs> that would have been the wrong thing to do. Yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm doing wrong there, but I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments just so I can figure it out. But yeah, let me smelt some of this iron, because I think we had... Yeah, we got three. That's just perfect. But I'm smelting all this stuff, if you guys don't know. Because I want to... Oh, man, I don't want to do it like that. Okay. I'm trying to be as efficient as possible if I burn wood. It's not my favorite thing to burn, but we don't have a whole ton of coal. And I kind of want to save a lot of it for torches. I only have two torches. Ah, we'll craft them later. But yeah, I'm going to make glass panes. And uh, with these glass panes, I'm going to go around the entire... Um, the entire, like, surround of this thing. And uh, it's okay if I go ahead and just start now because I'll just be able to put blocks above it at some point but essentially what I'm what I'm aiming for here and I just don't want to have a bunch of missed places but I'm gonna go around this entire thing with glass and it's gonna look pretty cool it'll be like a it'll be like a giant compound complex house thingy and I want to make the layer above it like a big farm 
and stuff like that. Hopefully the cow spawner will play nicely. Now you guys may have said, Neo, why'd you do that? You lost your zombie spawner. Well, I think spawners just like fall randomly. So I don't think we really need to worry about that too much at least. And uh, it looks like we'll definitely have enough glass. We may have to go farm some sand, but as we mine out different uh, like areas in the world, I think sand becomes pretty common. Where did I put that glass? Oh, it's right there. It's just hidden. <laughs> this new glass texture does make it hard to see like individual panes. In fact, you really can't see them. You can see the top of them. Well, I don't know. This is the new default texture pack. You guys keep asking me, Neo, what's the texture pack? This is just the new default. Like you have, if you if you have the new update for Minecraft, this is just what it looks like now, and it's really nice because used to it looked pretty bad. And I know you don't want to watch me place panes, so let me just finish what I have here, which is only 10 more. And then most of you just double tap to skip 15 seconds. That's what I do too. It's fine. Okay, no more panes. All right, so that's how I want the world to look. At some point, obviously, we'll, we'll get to that in the future. Can I? Okay. Is there any more glass? 10. Okay. We're going to take the iron, we'll put the glass up somewhere. See, like, I don't know where glass will go, but I assume we'll find a good spot for it at some point. We'll go ahead and put, oh, well, this is a farming item. And this is two. I thought I had bones in here. I do. Okay. So we'll go ahead and make a pickaxe, and then we'll go up there and try to find some more diamonds real quick. I say real quick. Like, I'll just be able to go up there and just find diamonds, but <laughs> probably not. I do want to put, okay, I did put up my other good tools. Okay, good. All right. Let's go up before the world gets taller. The more time we waste, the taller the world gets, and subsequently the harder things get. But I mean, not 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 necessarily harder. Oh, there's diamond. <laughs> nice. Okay, what layer is it on? Okay, I'm trying to find it. Hold on. Okay, so it's like right in front of me. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now I can see. I was about to hang over to check to see how far it was, but if I did that, I would have died. So we got two diamonds. Which means we're one, we're one away from getting a diamond pickaxe. I feel like that's going to be super nice to have. And you guys do say like you should get all the gold you can and make gold armor. Hundred percent, I agree. I don't know why I haven't been getting the gold. I know I should be breaking that with a shovel, but I don't even have a shovel, and I'm lazy. It's like <laughs> I'm too lazy to use my scroll bar to scroll over. It should be right here. No, where is this diamond? Oh, it's just right there. But also, we can get to the Nether, which supposedly has passive spawn eggs, which. Well, we do have, oh, thank God, I thought it just fell off the side, I was about to be like, dude, <laughs> no way. I want to put torches up here, because I feel like things are going to spawn like crazy in any area that they can. Is that a snow block? It is a snow block, okay. We have to be sure to always remove this block right here, otherwise, like, this whole thing will get filled up. So, and when they fall on this right here, or the torch, I think they just sort of disappear, which, I mean, it makes sense. I wouldn't know what to do either if I had... Uh, if I was making this data pack, but obviously whoever made this, I think Mr. Birdie, I think, is a very talented individual. But yeah, let me get up to the top and I'll come back when I'm there. Or the top of the ladder at least, wherever that is. And I've been looking for diamonds, don't worry about that. I'm not going to stop for gold or iron just because I can get that pretty simply. Okay, I have to, I have to pay attention. Okay, I don't know why that block isn't filled in, but as you guys can see from now, from, from between this episode and last, a lot of blocks have already fallen where we need to be. I don't know how many are above this. I guess we'll sort of find out to break this block. Okay. How many are above this? Surely not too many, right? Okay, that- uh! <laughs> See, that's what makes it fun. <laughs> because you could just fall and die, like, and, like just kind of instantly. Kind of kind of spooky. Alright, we'll just keep making this ladder up. Hopefully we have enough ladders. I may have not brought enough. I didn't foresee these blocks being here. Um, how many are here? I really don't know. I guess we'll find out. I know I should- I know. I know. I know. Okay. Okay. See, I saw that one coming. And we'll break it with our hand like we're supposed to. <laughs> okay, let's get this ladder. Uh, there is- oh, I thought I saw iron. It's just gravel. Don't worry. It's just gravel. I should have left a two-block space. If you leave a two-block space, you can stand on the ladder. And it makes it really nice, because now this is going to take forever to break. Please. Break. Quicker. Please, no one wants to watch this break. Okay, no one wants to watch that break. I wouldn't want to watch that. Oh, oh, there's diamond. Okay, we have a diamond pickaxe. And I foresee if I bring a diamond pickaxe up to the top, I will fall and lose it. I foresee that just off the bat. So I'm going to be very careful about how I do this. I also want to know how many more blocks are above this because I'm tired of digging. 
just one more? Oh, okay. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this diamond. Oh, thank God. Okay, and then we'll fall. Okay, we'll fall all the way down. Just like that. See? A block just fell on it and it just disappeared. And it didn't give us it didn't give us the dirt block that fell on it. It just kind of disappeared. Which is understandable. I get it, but I don't under I don't understand, but I get it. So we have enough stuff for a diamond pickaxe. Oh, then, okay, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and craft it. It makes me super nervous having this in my inventory. And I wanna keep my iron pickaxe. I wanna keep my iron pickaxe secure. So we'll go ahead and put it up in this chest with our other iron tools. Just because if, if this breaks and we lose it, then like, I don't know. I just feel like it's gonna reset a lot of our progress. In reality, not really. I need to get a wood chest or a wood barrel or something. Cause I have so many wood blocks. And we should put up a little bit of the melon. Nah. You know, actually, no. We have so much now. Okay, let's get to the top. We may need more ladders. If we do, we'll go back down. I honestly don't remember how much higher... Oh, this takes so long. I wish I could double tap the space bar like you guys say. You said... See, if you hold down the space bar, it goes up. But you can also hold down W. Either way. Okay. Do I have any more torches? I do. I have one torch, and we'll hold it. But yeah, I really am curious about that cow spawner. Because I'd love to have a cow spawner. Um, so let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions for what I should try. Because I'm going to wait for that grass to grow. And if that doesn't work, then I genuinely don't know like what will make it work. But this world should only fall. The block should only fall to be about 256 blocks high. And uh, it's about halfway there at this point. I'd say somewhere around halfway. And uh, that's where I'm so nervous with this pickaxe. Like You guys have no idea. I didn't bring any blocks, but I have some cobblestone. It'll be okay. So basically, we have to build this spire up manually. The only problem is, is if the, if a block decides to fall on me and just like like just screw me over, then it, it will just like well, it'll just screw me over. And like I really don't want that to happen. But I don't know. It's kind of impossible to predict when it will if it will happen. But yeah, we'll try to future-proof this ladder. We definitely don't have this many ladders though. That's the only problem. So, we'll have to go back down and craft some. If we don't have enough wood, um, then I don't really know. But I want to future-proof it a little bit. But yeah, this this map is literally crazy. Okay, we're going to break these blocks. Yep. First first diamond pick break is going to be with the block that doesn't require... I actually think it was the iron. <laughs> Love that. It's supporting a whole family of blocks. I shouldn't stand here. Okay, yeah, we definitely don't have that many ladders. We have 16, but that's only to, like, right here. No, maybe this is close to enough. No, it's not. Okay, let me go back down. Let me see if we have any extras. No, I didn't die. I caught myself. Okay, we got 30 ladders. That should be good. I'll meet you guys back up at the top. We'll start building them, and we'll go explore a little bit. Hopefully, don't lose this diamond pickaxe. That would be the worst thing in the world, but you never know. I could lose it. That would be kind of bad, but yeah. Thank you guys for all the recent support on this series. The first episode... See, it just disappears. This first episode, or the first episode of this series has like almost like 300,000 views now. And I've never had a series that like did that off the bat. Even the first episode of my Survival Let's Play series only has about, um, I don't know, like 130,000 views. So it's already almost doubled that. And it's been out for like a fifth the amount of time. So I hope you guys understand why I'm recording more of this. It seems like more people want to see it. I'm not going to stop the survival series. If anything, I might make a new world for it. I'm not really sure. I just feel like we've sort of reached the end of that world in a way. And I kind of want to focus more on building in the next series. Like doing things a little bit slower. I, 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 I took them pretty slow in the survival series. Like we didn't get a bunch of really cool stuff just right off the bat. You know what I mean? Like I kind of want to... I don't know, pace myself more and like build, like if I want to put a crafting table down, I gotta build a building for the crafting table and that's, that's perfect. Thank you, Iron. Thank you for falling right here. Thank you for choosing to fall on the Neo Industries block. Okay. I'm so nervous about going up here. I didn't bring any blocks, which is like the opposite of how I should have done this. Maybe I should go get some blocks. Gosh dang it. Okay, I don't know how many times I'm gonna have to climb that ladder, but I'm not a fan. But yeah. Um, I want to make a path and then I want to always make sure that there's a block above me because things are gonna fall on me And I'm gonna die and then I'm just gonna be like super sad if I lose this pickaxe. Oh See that stone it was so close to falling on me. Oh man. Oh <laughs> See they hurt you so much. I guess like a little I wish I could Did I just lose my one picket. I just lost my one torch. It's all the way down there. Okay. 
Looks like we're gonna go get it, I guess. If my health would regenerate. You see, I have three hearts that need regenerating. I guess it's because the saturation of melons is so low. I'm not really sure. But yeah, as I do this, I just have to make sure that there's blocks away. Because look, something just fell. And that would have fallen like directly on my head. I swear that this, this game mode has something against me. Because I keep getting things that like almost kill me. And I know it's completely random. And some people also talked about something called gambler's fallacy. So like, eh, like, like let's put it in terms of slot machines, right? So let's say you play it and you lose like a hundred times. Well, you'd think that your probability of winning is going to go up because you've lost so many times already. But it's actually the exact same probability that you'll win. It never really changed. The probability never changes. And if this is true RNG, then the probability of a block falling on you, no matter how high the spire, it will always be the same. So like the, the chance of a block falling there is the same as one falling like down in here, right? But because of how probability works, if I remember from statistics, like it, it will, I mean, it's truly just random and I don't want to talk about stat anymore. I have to take statistics. My, my college classes start on the 19th of August. So um, uploads will slow down a little bit during the school year. And again, I don't know how to balance it per like correctly because you know, I've never uploaded really during... Actually, I have uploaded. You know what? I, I take that back because when I started, I was still in college. So I really don't know. But we'll we'll figure it out. I'm going to try to make sure I can upload as much as possible. But obviously, it'll be less than it is right now because it's still summer and whatnot. Oh, man. <sighs> See what I mean? I mean, like, you could I could have just got wasted right there and lost all my stuff. But hey, at least my torch is down here somewhere. <laughs> at least I thought my torch was down here somewhere. It's down in that hole, and I have no business going down there to get it. See, I just look up, because I'm like, am I going to die? It wouldn't even matter. I couldn't even stop it. Oh, man. <laughs> Dude, I was so close to dying. Okay, I got to put this block here. Where am I going? Where is my ladder? I swear my ladder was right over here. I think it is. Yeah, it is just right here. Okay. I'm going to go back down, because I'm honestly just, like, deathly afraid that I'm going to lose this diamond pick. And while I like going up there with it, I probably shouldn't. I should probably always go up there with an iron pick because there's nothing that an iron pick can't break aside from obsidian. And I don't really need obsidian right now. Um, one thing I do want to go for is sand, obviously, because, you know, I want to do that thing that I had talked about. I want to get a bunch of sand and just go around this entire massive thing. It's just 25 by 25, so it's not that big. Some people were saying this map is a little bit small. And, like, when I was reading about the map, I thought there was a 50 by 50 version but I'm glad I played this one because it's much more manageable because I feel like if you get a 50 by 50 area to deal with well let's just put it this way I feel like I get in a lot more trouble than I do currently and uh, yeah I have a lot of lapis but I don't have any way to enchant things yet obviously that cow spawner will help with our uh, journey to enchant but since it's not working it doesn't really do anything right now as far as helping me I'm curious, is there any, how far has the grass gotten? Okay, so not that far. There is no cows in here. What am I doing wrong? I have to be doing something wrong. Maybe it, it is the light level, need, no, because we already tried that. And I don't have any torches. And now I have to fall down to get one torch. Usually I'm like stacked up on torches. I got like millions of torches, but I don't know what's wrong with it. And it, it's making me kind of sad because I really wanted these spawner, this cow spawner to work this episode. That was supposed to be the whole premise of this cow, this episode was a, was a cow spawner but honestly it just doesn't work I don't know let me see if I can google some more well I'll do a little bit of checking okay well I had the game paused obviously I didn't want the blocks to continue to spawn I just looked it up and it says that there has to be grass below it okay there has to be grass below it and I don't have <laughs> I don't really have any grass below it just just yet so I wish I could move the spawner but I really can't so we're gonna work with what we have and I'm just going to make sure that grass gets to the top of this at some point. Obviously, grass grows, like, pretty slow. Um, you know, as the, saying, as the saying goes, watching the grass grow. No, that, that I don't think that's the saying. But I think the grass will just have to be on the layer right below it. Again, I don't know. You know, I'm not an expert in these things. Uh, but eventually, this grass will grow. Um, and uh, we should have cows up here that we can just sort of kill, I guess. It'll be nice because we'll have infinite food and leather. I don't want them getting out over here. And the only reason I did a staircase is so the grass can sort of step up as it grows and uh, hopefully get up here at some point. I'm going to put grass right here too. 
It feels like it needs grass right here. But anyways, thank you guys for watching episode 5. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm having a ton of fun making it again. Uh, we can finally mine this obsidian and get one step closer to the nether portal. Maybe next episode we'll try to go to the nether, but I think finding obsidian is like a, a rarity. I don't think it's super common. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I think the next upload I'll do is another one of these. I guess we'll sort of find out as we go. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!